Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could play a song called Here's to the Good Times by Florida George Line in a really easy way. And our intro is going to start on a C major chord. And when we play C major, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a C major chord that sounds really, really happy. And then from C major, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And when we play G major, first finger is going to go to the A on the second fret. Second finger is going to go low E on the third fret, and the third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from G major, we're going to be going to a D major chord. And the way you play D major, first finger is going to go G string on the second fret, second finger is going to go high E on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the top four strings, just D, G, B, D, that'll get you your clear sound out of that, and that's called D major. And then from D major, we're going to be going to an E minor chord. And the way you play E minor, first finger is going to go to the low E, or on the A string, on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And a lot of our song really is just going to be following that one chord progression of C major, G major, D major, E minor, C major, G major. D major, E minor, but a lot of times with a song like this to make it more interesting, I like adding what, what's called a strum pattern, and one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 is down, down, up, up, down, up, and that could work with the song, we'll talk about another strum pattern in a minute, but just to try that, you could take the C chord that we started on and just try doing that a lot, just that down, down, up. Try, try and train your right hand. And the, weir the weird thing is we're going to be having, having these chords with, with that strum pattern. So you could start with the C and do the down, down, up. And then go to the G for the up, down, up. C, down, down, up. G, up, down, up. And then you can take the D and the E minor and do it the same way. That D, down, down, up. E minor, up. through that progression, we'd have our C with the down, down, up, G, up, down, D, down, down, up, E minor, up, down, up, C, down, down, up, G, up, down, D, down, down, up, E minor, up, down, up, C, down, down, up, G, up, down, D, down, down, up, E minor, up, down, up, and then the last time, we, we still do the half on the C and G, the down, down, up, G, up, down, up, go into our D chord for the whole string pattern. So we got D down, down, up, up, down. And then our chorus is almost the same kind of thing. We got C down, down, up, G up, down, D down, down, up, E minor, up, down, C down, down, up, G up, down. We got whole D down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, G up, down, D down, down, up, E minor, up, parts of the song actually. Well, one thing you need to know though is to play along with uh, Florida Georgia Line, instead of starting on a C chord, they're actually starting on a D chord. So if you take a capo and kind of put them on second fret across the entire second fret, now your C chord is really a D chord and your G chord is really an A chord and your D major is really an E major and your E minor is really an F sharp minor. So just to try that through our verse progression, we got the C down, down, up, G up, down, D down, down, up, E minor, up, down, C down, down, up, G up, down, D down, down, up, E minor, up, down, C down, down, up, G up, down, D down, down, up, E minor, up, down, C down, down, up, G up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, up. Then to try that through our chorus part, then we have the C down, down, up, G up, down, D down, down, up, E minor, up, down, C down, down, up, G up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, G up, down, D down, down, up, E minor, up, down, C down, down, up, G up, down, D down, down, up, E minor, up, down, we got a C down, up, up, down, C down. 
this song. Now, another, another strum pattern that I really like to use with this particular song, though, is working off of something called a 16th note. And what a 16th note is, is where you divide the, your foot tap or your beat into four parts. And what we were doing before is an eighth note where you divide that into two parts. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that into four. It's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note patterns that I really think matches this song really, really well is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is like if you take the C chord and do a down and count four, that's what we're going to be doing on the first beat. So like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But then on the second beat, we're going to be doing a down on one, a down on three, and a up on four. So we're going to be going one, two, three. up on two and a down on three. So you'd have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the fourth beat, we're going to be doing down, up, down, up, right along with our one, two, three, four. So our one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So we put that all together, then you got down, What you want to do with this drum pattern when you're half in the chords is, is we're going to start out on the C doing the down, 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 up. So we got down, 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 up. But then go to the G for the up, down, down, up, down. So now we got C on the down, 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 up. G up, down, down, up, down, up. C on the down. So we got the D with the down, 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 up, the minor, up, down, down, up, down, So we take it from the beginning and try that with our verse, and then when we get to those, those chords, we're doing the whole strum pattern, we just do the whole strum pattern. But just to try that, you, you'd have the, the, on your verse, you'd have the C down, 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 up, G up, down, down, up, down, D down, 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 up, D minor, up, down, down, up, C down, 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 up, G up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down,
C and G and then doing the whole D. So for the solo you got C like a bridge part where you got the C Here's to the good times by Florida George Lott. So good luck!